So after ordering Emo, uh, four months ago that is, finally I received the goods this morning. So um, what's quite interesting on the back side of Emo is that it says that it actually gets sick um, and also finds some encounter difficulties as well. So you need to take care of him. Oh dear. And yeah, um, it says do not try to sell him. So I think there's going to be a, some complications on uh, transferring the ownership once you register him or something like that but it sounds like at this stage emo is still under development from looking at the three paragraphs or the back side of the box um, but obviously we've got the face recognition voice interaction emotion engine grow up system and pet care and etc so i'm sure many of you know exactly what goes on but hey i actually invested on this robot myself as well so let's do the general procedure shall we so let's do the unboxing here it goes all right so let's try to get the seal out first so no more reflection that's good you pull it out and that logo is very familiar and so you pull it out this way and voila so we finally have our emo here and this is the skateboard a ah, bit of weight on it that's very good I wonder whether I could actually charge my phone with this one. So I'll find out soon. And um, yeah, emo with the, yeah, okay. So you can actually take this out, but I don't know what sort of uh, value it brings. And um, we've got emo on the back side, bit of a grip feet and Okay, I hope that's not going to damage the emo. And um, we're seeing a pretty good detail here. I like the purple color, by the way. That's the USB-C charging cable. What's interesting is that normally it comes with a separate uh, plug. This is not European friendly, by the way. So we've got the manual here. Seven days uh, to build a friendship with emo. That's what it says here. And if you take it out, there are some... Uh, things that to email supporters seven days and these are the descriptions I'm sure um, some other youtubers would have highlighted it so I'm just going to go through this very soon okay so those are the simple instruction you can pause and have a quick look that's the app and the light as well so since we're talking about light Let's look at how this one looks like. I hope it's not those um, American plugs that you plug in. Oh dear, here we are. So that is something a bit of a nuisance, but I will definitely use it for demonstration purpose anyhow. So we got the Emo um, and then uh, Smart Light. So there you go. So if we were to compare the size with Vector, you can see the head size is much bigger while Vector has wheels. This one has uh, clever legs. And um, yeah, that's a bit of a size comparison, just so you know, okay? All right, so after reading the uh, instruction, what I discovered is that it actually has a LiDAR uh, sensor on it, which is this one. That's very interesting because I believe LiDAR sen sensors are quite expensive. So for the price, you're getting a really good valued um, robot here. And also these are the sensors that prevents um, emo to drop from the uh, edge of the cliff and so on. Also, it has an Alexa Google Assistant built in as well. So that's really good because we all know that Vector only has Alexa integration on it. So I'm going to explore the Google Assistant built in, how it works. So that's very good news. Since I'm not happy with this non-European compliant uh, uh, USB plug what I've done is use my own USB-C connected to the back side of the skateboard and I can see that there's the uh, green light actually so let me just zoom in you can see the green light coming in so I presume it's working since it's a desktop why not use your computer as a power source to charge uh, wirelessly to the emo and what I notice is that 
um, the way how to charge it is you kind of get the feel of this magnetic joint here onto the left hand side if you if you actually based on the uh, green light as the left then you'll feel kind of like a magnetic joint here so I presume the power charging is going this way okay so I mean the headphone itself um, I can't see anything going on other than the fact that there is this uh, electrical sort of jack on each end and once you actually put it in you'll see the LED lights actually uh, coming on actually so that's quite cool all right so the emo app is installed so let's connect to emo let's see if there's any changes uh, it's actually asking for wireless connection um, okay so I need to do some settings yeah so unfortunately at this stage I don't think you are able to enter the city name I think they need to update that all right so after the wireless has been connected I actually ask it to be updated with the latest software and it has already passed more than 300 seconds so I'll wait for this to be updated so I'll see you soon all right so after 20-30 minutes of updating now I finally updated email to the latest version but the thing is every single time when I log into the app this is what happens I'm trying to connect to it but the app trying to connect to email seems to struggle so what I have to do is uh, restart the app again so just a quick run through of the app we got game uh, we got the lifetime emo utilities and interact as well um, and also shows that all these sort of live feeding for example here it says listening so it's all these reactions here and um, if you go to the right hand side top you got the wi-fi which is connected firmware is the uh, latest i believe and i have to choose the city time zone uh, power off i could power it off and thanks to all those sort of things as well so i guess for the next video i'll explore more about these but that's just a quick run through of the software okay all right so let's try out some of the basic features that is available on this book click this should be so let's lift up emo to see whether there's any response yep he's somehow responding to this um okay let's try the touch emo's head what's happening emo Hello, is there any sensor here? Um, I think it's just waking up. Okay, so he's moving a bit, stretching. Okay, so let's actually stroke his head to see if there's any difference. Okay, so I think he seems to like that. Um, okay, the other one is let's shake emo, shall we? very cute okay so emo is um, feeling shaky okay so let's try to put him in a bit of an edge shall we and the reason why he's stopping that is as you can see all these sensors are detecting what's going on okay uh, the other one is let's try to block his way <laughs> turns around and you know let's lie him down to see what sort of reaction you get <laughs> he doesn't seem to be pleased at all is he now let's try to call emo shall we emo yeah so good thing is that you don't need to say hey emo you just say emo okay so emo what's the weather like in London Ah, so that's how it works. Okay, so you have to mention the location. Hey, Emo, what's the weather like in Chicago? Okay. Emo, it's my birthday. very cool okay emo play by yourself okay let's try that again emo 
play by yourself. Okay, so he seems to be moving. Okay, Emo, take a picture. Yep, so that's working. So, Emo, oh, cool, so it shows a preview, that's great. Um, Emo, set a 10 second timer. <laughs> Happy birthday badge, okay, I got that, that's, thank you. Okay, Emo, Set a 10 second timer. Emo, set a 10 second timer. Okay, so you, you can't do timer for some reason. Emo, 10 second timer. Okay, for some reason the timer doesn't work. Anyway, Emo, go to sleep. So Emo does go to sleep. Okay, so next page is introducing myself. So Emo, Emo, wake up. Emo, Emo, nice to meet you. He says hi, cool. Emo, my name is LJP Tech. Scanning my face, okay. Cool, I like that animation. That is really cool, isn't it? Okay, Emo, what is my name? Okay, so you can't really pronounce my name. So I basically um, connected Emo Lite to Emo Robot, and all you need to do is just press that button for about five seconds and it will start to blink, okay? And then automatically Emo detected it and it's been registered. So let's try it out, shall we? Emo, turn on the light. Okay, so light is on. Emo, Turn off the light. Okay, so that works. So I get an impression that emo light can actually come up with different colors as well. So let's try that out, shall we? Emo, turn on the light. Emo, change the light color to red. Oh, he's puzzled. Okay. Emo, change the light color to blue. He's thinking, but nothing's happening. So I think um, it's only the white light that we're going to get from this light bulb. Anyhow, at least I tried. So overall, I'm getting the impression that still we are in an early stage regards to programming side of Emo. I think uh, Living.ai is still busy producing products. As you know, it took me four months to get this, um, but there's potential here. I can see the logic behind it, but unfortunately at this stage, I cannot add Emo into Google Home or um, Alexa as an additional device. So I think I have to wait for it. If if it's available, please let me know what's the keyword to search for to adding device. Um, but there's a lot of potential here. And um, comparing to Vector when it came out, there was a lot of things that was set up um, other than these blank pages. Well, one thing that I find really annoying about the app itself is that, let's say if you close the app in the middle of process trying to do something else, you have to restart the app. And once you restart the app, it's gonna always ask you the name of your city. And I don't understand why that's happening all the time, but I mean, it, it's, it's not a big deal. I could just reset, well, just reset the app and then restart again and, and so on. But um, I think we have to wait for living.ai to actually produce uh, many updates to be able to do something that is actually says on the description here. So let's see how it goes. Um, but 
hopefully next video I'll try to compare with Vector. Uh, but I hope this video is almost like a self-explanatory, okay? So thank you very much for watching this video. This is LJB Tech. All the best. Bye-bye. <laughs>